Hello, and welcome to Make a Difference, the show about how volunteers are making a difference every day here in Montgomery County. I'm your host, Lorraine Driscoll. We'll be talking with representatives from Family Services, Inc., which runs a great variety of programs to support individuals and families facing a wide range of challenges. Family Services' mission is to promote the resilience, recovery, and independence of individuals and families by providing mental and physical health services, social services, and education programs in ways that also strengthen communities. Volunteers are very important to the success of their mission. If you stay tuned, we'll learn about the many ways in which you can get involved in some of the volunteer opportunities available throughout the year with Family Services, Inc. And in the meantime, take a look at some other volunteer opportunities that might interest you. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Make a Difference. I'm your host, Lorraine Driscoll. Joining us are Mary Murphy, Volunteer and Marketing Specialist with Family Services, Inc., and Motion Sharifi, a volunteer who tutors youth at Family Services. We're here to learn about how you might receive monthly information about meaningful volunteer roles with Family Services that can work for your schedule. Mary, Motion, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so we can't wait to hear about all this. So Mary, why don't you start out by telling us um, a little more about Family Services, Inc. Family Services was founded in 1908, so mm -hmm. we're getting ready to celebrate our 100th and 10th anniversary. Um, we offer 36 different programs. We serve over 25,000 individuals in Montgomery and Prince George's County every year. Mm -hmm. We have six program areas. Mm -hmm. um, we offer services for mental health, for substance abuse, for um, victim and domestic violence. Mm -hmm. We also have lots of programs for infant, youth, and family services. We have um, programs that are school-based, and we also have community-based programs. So we've got volunteers. They're not working in all of those programs. Right now we have about 10 of those programs that are using volunteers on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But my goal is to increase um, the programs that are using volunteers on a regular basis and also work to create more one-time um, special event activities that volunteers can kind of come in and go as they have the, um, the time so that they're flexible and they can become part of our community. Wow, so it sounds like if you get involved in your organization, you've got a wide range of ways to get involved, find your passion, and also a wide range of schedules, either scheduled or once a year or grab a friend kind of thing. Right, so we do have um, regular volunteer opportunities where mm -hmm. people might help every week or um, twice, a, twice a month. Mm -hmm. They might be coming in to provide support with administrative tasks. Mm -hmm. um, we've got volunteers who help on a regular basis to provide child care or to help in our child development centers. Um, we also have volunteers who help in our kitchens, in our day centers for adults with mental illness. We also have um, volunteers who tutor both students like Mosin and also um, who are working with adults. So those are regular opportunities and then we can fit you in with lots of different special events Terrific. that we're working to develop. Terrific. Well, Mosin, why don't you tell us, now you've been a volunteer for a little while with Family Services and you're a tutor. Can you tell yes. us about that role? I've been <coughs> with Volunteer Service for over a year mm -hmm. and uh, um, before that, I was an educator, teacher, and mm. retired. And I enjoy um, very much because I get a lot of support mm -hmm. from the members at uh, the center. And my approach to education, to teaching education, is a holistic approach. Mm -hmm. It's, I teach math kids, but sometimes kids don't have the language proficiency to understand. They may understand the subject, but mm -hmm. they don't uh, quite understand the English. So what I do is <coughs> peer them up. Like I have a group, uh, one of uh, my set of students, there are four or five students, and maybe two of them 
they understand the English better, so I peer them up. So when they um, get to know, uh, when they talk in, in Spanish, I, also, I always um, tell them to speak e English, mm -hmm. to improve the English, but uh, nevertheless, they need to understand the subject, the uh, math. So that helps them with their confidence. So, mm -hmm. oh, okay, now I understand what my peer is telling me. So that improves. And um, well, it sounds like you're asked letting the kids teach each other, which helps yes. their in their feeling more confident and mm, confidence and, and also responsibility, and mm -hmm. leadership. Um, so you're tutoring and mentoring. <laughs> tutoring and mentoring, uh -huh. and I j enjoy and and the most thing the, the the most important thing that I I, I get out of it when at the uh, uh, when at the mm, end of a semester or a year. They said, oh, uh, Mr. Sharifi, I have improved. Mm, I have yeah. gotten a better grade. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a volunteer service. I spend my time teaching them. So it's, uh, I, this is what my pay scale <laughs> looks mm -hmm. like. It's, yeah. it's uh, not so much how much in dollars I get. It's the feedback that I get from the student that makes me this good. This regional youth services program yes. um, has been doing, um, offering tutoring for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. Started out with just a handful of students and a handful of maybe one or two tutors. Um, this year we're now supporting almost 60 students with um, uh, about 40 volunteers. Wow. Some of them are adults and we also bring in students from the area high schools and so they're able to work with elementary and middle school students and also gain student service learning hours as well. So it's really, it's started out two days a week, it's now offered every day of the week. So it's really grown, it's wow. uh, uh, quite in demand and people seem to be very satisfied. The kids are really um, getting some great support from our volunteers. And it sounds like as your volunteer ranks grow, you can help more kids. Right, <laughs> yes. So, um, well tell me, um, tell me some other ways that volunteers help you achieve your goals at Family Services Inc. So we're working on developing some more, as we said earlier, of these one-time special support volunteer mm -hmm. roles. Um, and I'm trying to connect with programs to develop these type of events. Um, a good example is Montgomery Station, which is a day center with, um, for adults who come. They have uh, mental health, uh, they're struggling with mental health issues. Mm -hmm. um, they come and they have breakfast, they have lunch, there's computer room, there's group work that they do, there's other programs and classes that they can take. So once a month we're trying to get volunteers to come in and um, create a special lunch for them. Mm -hmm. um, in February we had a, vol a Valentine's Day lunch. In March we had a St. Patrick's Day. In May we're going to be celebrating spring. Uh, we get about a dozen volunteers to come in to help cook, mm -hmm. serve, clean up. It's a great way for uh, the consumers that we serve to, to get a little extra attention, yeah. um, to have a great meal. Right. Uh, one day one of the consumers said, oh I see volunteers in the kitchen. I know the meal's going to be great. <laughs> so it's a very rewarding mm -hmm. experience. Um, right. And for people who are busy, it's a way to... Right. Um, they, they might come help. in at their lunch time. Uh -huh. um, they might come in for the whole morning. Or just but, once a month or a couple times right. a year or however. It's uh -huh. perfect. Um, our programs meet with lots of people all the time, so they need help with organizing, um, painting, landscaping, mm. to make mm. their, their, their centers more welcoming. So we're trying to get volunteers to come in as individuals or groups as well. Those are some opportunities. Oh, so you could bring like a work-based group or fraternity sorority or yes. high school friends who want SSL hours. We just Any? had um, a six volunteers from Holiday Inn mm -hmm. in Gaithersburg come out to um, our Betty Ann Cranky Center, which is a mm. domestic violence shelter for women and children. And uh, they were out on Saturday, which was chilly and mm -hmm. rainy, but they spent two hours. Their heart was warm. <laughs> they were, and um, the center, you know, the staff said they just made such an important difference. Um, they can now, they picked up debris, raked, um, uh, pulled weeds. That's so awesome. it's much more welcoming. So if someone wants to learn more and get involved and get this information about these uh, 
Yeah. One off. How did they find you? So you can reach me via email. Mm -hmm. um, and should I give my email? Yeah. Mar yeah. Mary.murphy at fs hyphen inc mm -hmm. org. Um, you can go to our website which is www.fs-inc.org. Um, you can go under um, Get Involved and mm -hmm. um, click on Volunteer. We have applications there. If, you can, if I can get you into our database, mm -hmm. then once a month I will send you a volunteer newsletter with all of these upcoming events. Mm -hmm. So you can see what might work for your schedule and get in touch with me. All right, and did we do phone number? Phone number is 301-840. Mm -hmm. 3183. Terrific. So lots of ways to reach you. And Mosin, so you have been coming back for a year. What keeps you coming back? What as a volunteer? What um, what's inspiring to you? Well, about? the different uh, things that I want to uh, keeps me coming back. Uh, the most important thing is the support. Mm. Uh, and uh, people are very uh, supportive of my needs mm -hmm. if I want something that say, okay, I need uh, a book or material, you know, in no time they will give it to me mm -hmm. for the student. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second thing is also that I see uh, that the students are happy mm -hmm. when they improve yeah. and they tell sure. me so uh, Success so feels and <laughs> uh, volunteer work to me um, you know I had it, it good in my life mm. uh, now it's time to give back mm -hmm. and that's how I get the <laughs> satisfaction so um, so I think it's terrific that you have these on so people can contact you for about some of these longer term roles, these right. regular roles, tutoring or administrative support or whatever, right. or these short term roles. Right. So what are some other short term roles? Um, let's see, well, like I said, the organizing, the cleanup, the painting, landscaping, we're having... Um, you mentioned fundraisers? F oh, thank you. <coughs> um, yes, and Family Services also has annual fundraisers. Mm -hmm. in and those are often fun and celebratory. And lots of fun, <laughs> and we get, um, our big one is the Halloween Hustle, which is in oh. October. Mm -hmm. Last year we had about 60 volunteers mm. helping us for the day. It's a fun run. Um, there's kids' activities, so we had adults and students volunteering with us. Mm -hmm. At the holidays, we have uh, a gift wrap booth at the Barnes & Noble. Awesome. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So just real quick, one more time. Website, phone number? Phone number is 301-840-3183. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Website is www.fs-inc.org. Terrific. Well, thank you, Mary Mosin, for coming to... Tell us today about all these great opportunities, and um, I wish you luck. Thank with you. Finding lots of thank you. You you're most doing, welcome. Yeah, doing great work. We've been talking today with Mary Murphy, volunteer and marketing specialist for Family Services Inc., and Mosan Sharifi, a volunteer tutor with the organization. For more information about volunteering in Montgomery County, please contact the Volunteer Center at 240-777-2600, or visit their website at www.montgomeryserves.org. Remember, as a volunteer, you can make a difference. In Montgomery County, we have a goal to reduce waste and recycle 70% of all waste by 2020. By recycling and reducing waste, we save natural resources and make our community even better. So recycle at home, work, school, everywhere, and keep recycling going. For more information, call the Montgomery County, Maryland Division of Solid Waste Services at 311-242-2000.